What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. I am out here in beautiful Highland Park, Texas, checking out a customer's home theater. Kellen is upstairs in the theater room right now, setting up the Mad VR Envy. The customer is running a JVC 3100 8K projector with a Panamorph DCR lens, broadcasting onto a massive Screen Innovations 240 Cinescope screen. This system is nuts. Let's get in there and check it out. Come on, guys. Welcome back, Dream Media family. We are now sitting in the home theater, and I'm here with Kellen, our national sales director. We're out here doing a little upgrade for the customer and tuning the Mad VR. Kellen, you want to give them a rundown of what we currently have in the space? So what we have in the room is a really nice speaker package back from 2004, but the customer is looking for an upgrade. So we are going to discuss those options and look forward to doing some of that in the channel. But currently in the room, we have a 2.4 aspect ratio screen innovation slate screen which is an ambient light rejecting screen paired with the jvc rs 3100 slash nz8 he also has an anamorphic lens on there as well it's really making that image pop adding a little bit more brightness because the projector is a little bit back further in the room which is nice you don't hear it but it is broadcasting a longer throw so that lens is really adding a lot more brightness to the image and then of course we have the mad vr which was the main thing that I came today to do was really get that dialed in um, with the aspect switching the tone mapping and everything needed some tweaking as well but now it looks great I think the customer is very happy he's running the Kaleidoscape Apple TV the usual suspects for his media sources going through a Denon receiver so overall the theater is looking great now it's time to make it sound great absolutely so you want to talk about some of the improvements that you were discussing with the customer for phase two so one of the main things we talked about was adding some acoustics this room is uh, kind of a non-traditional shape you have some alcoves off to the flanking the left and right of the screen so we're looking at Vicoustics and going to do some different options there and, and look at those as far as speakers go we're definitely going to upgrade the front sound stage and really give it that power um, and as well as some very powerful subs adding some more cinematic bass um, that will help pressurize the room even bass response throughout the space to give you that really cinematic feel when you step in here. The customer did build a killer home theater back in 2004, and now he has us back out here in 2023 to kind of bring it back to life, and we want to bring it up to today's home theater standards, really. So a lot of the things that we're doing, just like the video, we're going to do with the audio. Like he's running a standard Dolby surround sound system, which was groundbreaking at the time. He has a 7.2 system in here, but there's no separation in channel for the latest and greatest Dolby Atmos, RO3D, DTSX. So we were talking about solutions for Dolby Atmos, which is our best selling surround sound configuration. And there's a lot of options to choose from. So we were talking about how you could go from something as simple as like a 5.1.2 all the way up to like a 9.4.6. Yeah, I think this room um, could definitely benefit from obviously overhead speakers because there, there is none acting as Atmos effects. So just giving that another dimension um, going vertically instead of uh, around you will definitely create that bubble of sound that a lot of people are accustomed to. And like you said, that have experienced Atmos, you really get that spaciousness that the walls, if done properly, the walls kind of disappear and now you're in that environment of the movie. Absolutely, we wanna put you in the movie and create a 3D experience. Dolby was cool. Um, don't get me wrong, but your height effects and your low effects, all your surround effects were just coming through the one set of speakers. Yep. If you're running a five channel, or in this case, this was sophisticated. He had a seven channel, so you would have surround and surround back, but we're going to do that on two levels now, low level effects and overhead effects, making it extremely immersive. In conclusion, this room currently is featuring the JVC RS 3100 AK laser projector in addition to the Panamorph DCR lens plus the Mad VR NV, which really is the NV of any home theater system. Yep. And then to top it off, he even has the Kaleidoscape movie player, the ultimate movie player. So what's up next? We are gonna take the audio to the next level. So stay tuned to the channel to see what we do with this theater. Thanks for watching, guys. 
All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on another amazing home theater installation. As you can see from this project, this customer has a killer home theater system in a top of the line reference level video setup and soon to come he's going to be upgrading his speaker system as well but today we wanted to get his system dialed in with that mad vr envy that jvc 3100 and the panamore dcr lens on that cinescope si screen is just mind-blowing it's like an oled tv absolutely gorgeous now guys, I hope you found some inspiration as to something that you could do in your own home. Keep in mind, Dream Media is nationwide and would love the opportunity to earn your business. So if you're building a killer home theater and you need some help, reach out today and speak with one of my specialists. All right, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Until next time, this is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.